Welcome to In the Kitchen with Jeff Weisler. And Samantha Stovall. So today, what are we preparing, Sam? So today, I thought maybe we could take some crostini and make a really simple little appetizer, something really quick to pull together if you have people coming over or a little partay or something. Cool. So the crostini with a little bit of gorgonzola, it's actually the Rogue Creamery Orgonzola. Mm -hmm. and, and who's Rogue Creamery? Rogue Creamery, local creamery here mm -hmm. in Rogue Valley. And Rogue Valley's in? Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we live. Yes. It's kind of home. Near Ashland, Oregon. Yeah, good. And good, world good. renowned actual blue cheeses. So Awesome. We're going to spread a little bit of the organzola on the crostini, slice mm -hmm. some figs, and put it in the oven for just a quick little heat to kind of soften up the cheese. Cool. And then you go. Tastes and then we're, delicious. And then we're going to pair it with wine. Pair it with wine. See what happens. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's do a little prep work here, and uh, away we go. Okay. So, um, taking I'm taking figs, you're taking cheese. I'm taking the cheese. So what's the deal with these, what's, the, here, let's give you that. Thank you. What's the deal with these figs? Or what's the deal so, with figs? figs in general. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just discovered these a year ago, so, which is blasphemy compared <laughs> from a lot of my friends. <laughs> Food that go, one of the ancient foods on planet Earth. <laughs> it took me until last year to discover. Uh-huh. Um, some of these are from my girlfriends, my friend Becca. Ah. They're little candy striped figs. Uh huh. There's so many variety of figs. I actually decided to grab some um, Black Mission figs to go along just to show a little bit of a difference mm -hmm. in colors and textures. And mm -hmm. so you're taking care of that. Yes, I am cutting figs. Oh. So here's. That's the Black Mission fig. Okay. Is this the same or mm -hmm. different? They're, they're different. This skin, and the, that's the same. So it's okay. kind of hard. Ah, here we go. i got to cut one of these. Yeah. This is a candy stripe fig. Ah, okay. And then some figs are really bright, you know, kind of lime green. Mm -hmm. Some are really brown or black, like the Black Mission figs. We should have a piece of fig while we're here. <laughs> that was tasty goodness. Mm, they're so fresh. When, when, they're, when they're fresh like this, they're so delicious. Mm -hmm. I think pot potassium is one of the big things in figs. Mm -hmm. That's really good for our heart, among other things. Mm, those are so good. Yeah, they are good. So you definitely want to make sure you cut them when they're ripe and when they're kind of just just soft. Okay. Uh, starting to get a little softness. Uh huh. Um, if they're kind of mushy or weeping, they get really sticky. The sugar. Okay. Content kind of starts to weep out of them and get really kind of sticky and gooey, and that's usually they're too ripe at that point. So rumor has it before the, uh, the, the beginning of refined sugar that is in so much of our food today, um, figs were used as a, as a sweetener going back in times. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think going back uh, 2,500 plus years, there's history to the story of the fig and, uh, and being used in both savory and sweet foods. Mm -hmm. So that's another great thing about a fig is that you can completely do a savory dish like mm -hmm. we're doing, mm -hmm. or you could, you know, roast them in the oven mm -hmm. until they caramelize and have them for breakfast, and they're just sweet and caramely and mm -hmm. tasty. Well, I'm looking in in that kind of realm. We're going to pair this today with a Zinfandel from California, from Porter Bass Vineyard, and the Zinfandel. Uh, this particular Zinfandel um, doesn't have as much sweetness to it as a lot of Zins, but the nature of Zin in, in general is really ripe fruit. So there is that, that quality of ripe fruit. So here we have beautiful ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to look at the, uh, the spice and the intensity and the texture of the blue cheese to go with the intensity and the bigness and the fruit of the Zin. And the figs become a really nice element in that. The garlic on the crostini becomes a great element in that. So. I think we're set, Jeffrey. Let's uh, add some figs to the... Yeah, so let's... There we go. Scooch that out of the way. Sure. And if you can just put some little of those quarters on there, just kind of pile them up. Oh, let's not waste any of that goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. And then they're just beautiful pink. They're so luscious and just... The color is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I think of the idea of simple, fresh ingredients being so delicious, especially when they're, you know, ripe and organic and close to source, close to where they come from. Uh, the nutrition and the taste is so wonderful. It's almost like you don't want to do so many things that will take away right. from the, the personality and the, 
the the beauty of, of the of the wonderful ingredients. When you just stay so connected to you your community, to nature. Mm -hmm. And through the magic of filming, we'll be back in just a few minutes with cooked figs and blue cheese on Christine. Okay, well, Jeffrey? Yes. They're done. Let's, let's take them out of the oven. I can, they're sizzling. I can smell the cheese. Yeah, the melted cheese and the figs having cooked like that, the aroma's wonderful. Great combination. Voila. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me just move these over here. Looks great. Ooh. They're toasty. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's do a quick let's do a quick taste of our uh, of our wine that we're pairing this with. So once again, we've got Porter Bass Zin from the Russian River Valley in California. And uh, it's 100% Zinfandel and following all the rules of conscious wine. So cheers. Cheers. Here's to uh, figs, mm. gorgonzola, Christini, and wine <laughs> and life. Perfect. Vitality. Mm. Wow, really nice, really nice fruit, almost a little fig-like. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see how that how that shows up when we when we try the food and see how it There's how it pairs. Nice acidity there too. It's... The the acidity which will go great with the cheese. Okay. So shall we uh, imbibe and see what happens? We should be careful though. I don't want you burning your tongue. Okay. Mm. That smells great. Mm. Here we go. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> Mmm. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's good. Mmm. The salt and the sweet. Mm-hmm. Sam, thank you for being so culinarily inspired. <laughs> You're welcome. Right on. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try that with uh, okay. a little porter bass here. It actually. The fruitiness of the wine actually tones down in the early part, but then I get more fruit in the lingering. Mm -hmm. So it shifts the way the wine shows up. Um, it's interesting how the the sweetness in the fig takes the sweetness in the wine and tones that down a little down. bit. But then the acidity gets like a little zingy it kind of la zingy. layer to it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a nice echo of fruit that comes up at the very end, which I didn't notice before. It's fantastic. Yeah. It really does change the wine. Yeah, it really does create a, a different experience. And I think a lot of people are hesitant to use like gorgonzola and blue cheeses because they're so strong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that really nicely kind of, with the figs, the sweetness kind of tones that, that pungent kind of strong taste mm -hmm, mm -hmm. down to just a nice creamy taste. So how about a quick summary of what we just did? All right. So we simply took just the crostini, again, that baguette, mm -hmm. just toasted, a uh, little olive oil, toasted in the oven. The gorgonzola cheese that we chose, we chose orgonzola from mm -hmm. Road Creamery. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we kind of chose to stay local. Mm -hmm. Great. And support our farmers and community. And, Excellent. Um, and we spread that on the crostini and sliced up some figs. These figs, at least most of them, came from my friend's backyard. Great. Which is awesome. I mean... It's fantastic to think that you can just go out in your backyard and pick these beautiful mm -hmm. fruit. Amazing. So, toast in the oven, tells all bubbly and creamy. Five minutes-ish? Five minutes-ish, mm -hmm. about like 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. And um, there you go. Great. Well, local ingredients, awesome, make a huge difference. Conscious wine, awesome, makes a huge difference. <laughs> really want to recommend a couple of movies to you, actually, that uh, sort of tell some stories that help kind of get your head around um, really great concepts around good eating, nutritional eating. So one is a new film called, a documentary called Ingredients, and uh, they are talking about all different kinds of ingredients from, uh, that are used in, in, our, in our food, uh, filmed mostly in Oregon. And a conscious winery, Bergstrom, 
Josh Bergstrom is in the movie. It's a wonderful movie. Really recommend it. And another favorite, favorite movie is called The Real Dirt on Farmer John. And you can find that in your video store. I think if you check those out, you'll have some fun. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah.